Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. It's Bumper here. Welcome to episode 13 of my weekly release um, video. Okay, it's bank holiday Monday in the UK, so you might struggle to get to the shops, although most of them open Sundays and bank holidays these days. The two 4K releases for the UK this week. The first one's a little bit strange. It's Smoking Aces. So this is directed by Joe Carnahan. I think he'd done the A-Team movie and a load of other action films. Pretty solid director. Not sure why there was a need to release this movie on 4K because I don't remember it being that popular when it first came out in 2006. I would get this, but I'd probably wait for a sale because I have seen it, but I can't remember much, much about it. So it would be like a fresh watch. So I have got my eye on it, but just I won't be paying full whack for it this week. Okay, then the other big one is Turning Red, the Disney movie. So it's been on Disney Plus for a while, so my kids have seen this. I don't collect uh, kids' movies because <laughs> it's just a rabbit hole I don't want to go down because there's just so many. And I just, you know, I want to use what spare cash I got to buy horror mainly, not kids' films. So there. Um, yeah, so Turning Red then, really good for collectors if you want to get that in your Disney Pixar set. So that's out today. And then that's it for 4Ks in the UK. Um, hopefully it's a calm before the storm but we'll move on to the US now and see what they got out in over there okay then um, unusually there's nothing out in America different to the UK this week so nothing to talk about on 4k but just to let you know that there's um, alternative covers for smoking aces and turning red if you can get your hands on them from Walmart or Target or Best Buy wherever they may be um, you know, the, the Turning Red one's uh, target. I can see the sign on there at the top. I'm not sure about the Smoking Aces one, <clears throat> but they're there if you wanted to get a slightly more niche version. Now, I will have a look at some of the European countries now. Okay, so Germany kind of spread the releases over two days. So you've got the 5th and the 6th. we got Jack Reacher on 4K from the 5th. And then we got the Scorpion King. I think they're both available in the UK anyway. But then on the 6th of May, we have got this release here similar to smoking aces i'm not sure why they wanted a 4k of this but turbine media have put out an american werewolf in paris i've never seen this film actually so i can't give you any um you know opinions on it but i think i probably would get it because i've never seen it before even though it hasn't got um great word of mouth it would still be a nice one to have in the collection so i may look into that depending on the price so that's an american werewolf in paris all right, then we'll just check a few other um, European countries now and then we'll move on to blue. Okay, so in France, it looks like they're bringing out all the Pirates of the Caribbean movies, uh, all single releases rather than in a set. I'm not sure if they're out in the UK or not. I know the Black Pearl is. I'm not sure about the other ones. But um, yeah, you can get those from France if you, um, you know, you're a fan of the movies. And then on the 6th, then we just got the Kings one, but we've already had that in the UK. <laughs> Okay then, so there was no real 4Ks um, in France or Spain. Uh, sorry, not France, in Spain or Italy. Nothing really out. So we're on to the Blu-rays now. So in the UK then, this first one jumps out to me here. 29 Palms. So that's from Fractured Visions. Not a film I've heard of. Got an interesting cover though. Um, let's have a little look. Director Bruno Dumont. Can't say I've ever heard of him. Um, sounds like it might be a slow burn horror movie about a couple travelling, going visiting somewhere and then getting lost. Could be okay, but I know when I'm going to uh, be rushing out to buy. Then we got the complete series of Stingray. I have mentioned this on a previous video. This is from Network, deluxe edition as well, so really nice. If you're a fan, I didn't realise they only ever done one season of Stingray. That surprises me, but um, yeah, I used to love that when I was a kid, so I don't think I'll be getting it because... It's not really something I'm mad to watch again. But yeah, it's still a pretty good release. Then we got The Wrong Arm of the Law with Peter Sellers. Then we've also got this limited edition season one of Chucky. I just think you can get this off Zavi and maybe in the stores as well. I was close to getting it. But I didn't in the end. I'm not sure why. I've seen every episode. I do enjoy it. And I do want to buy anything that relates to Chucky for my connection. But I wasn't sure I wanted to pay 30 quid. Um, for something I watched recently and with TV shows. I'm not a big collector anyway, so I may just look for a standard edition, to be honest. But Wicked Set, I've seen people unboxing it on YouTube. If you check out um, Gareth 
Kowalowski, I hope I pronounced that right. Um, he's unboxed it on his video, so you can have a little look at that. Then we got there, Innocence in Paris, a film from 1953, vintage classic. Jack Ass Forever, hilarious film if you've never seen it. Turning Red, a uh, Blu-ray edition. There's a DC animated movie there of Constantine, House of Mystery. There we got the standard edition of Chucky Season 1. That's probably the one I'm more likely to pick up. Um, there's a Shudder movie there, The Boy Behind the Door. Okay, I've seen that. That's a really good, tense thriller horror. we got these new Star Wars trilogies that are coming out. This, I want to say The Sanctuary, but that's not Sanctuary, is it? The Sanctity of Space. Um, something called Wonder Egg, but there's no picture for it. Sounds Japanese or something. Uh, Without Remorse, I think that was originally a Netflix movie with Michael B. Jordan, but that's out now to buy on physical. And yeah, just going back to those Star Wars releases, you can get the three original, what well, I say original, you get the original trilogy, the prequel trilogy, and the sequel trilogy all on separate um, releases. I actually don't own any of the Star Wars films apart from The Phantom Menace that I got on a steel book in a sale. So I may be interested in getting some sort of collection, but whether it would be these ones or just getting the, the Skywalker saga, I'm not sure, to be honest. Oh, I then someone have a little look at the Blu-rays in the States now. Okay, so we do have a Monday release, which is unusual for the States, but that's Contraband. There's two different versions or covers, and that's a Lucio Fulci movie. Uh, he's more famous for his um, schlock horror, but this looks like some sort of action film from the 80s, one well, 1980. I haven't seen it, so I can't give an opinion, but I do like Lucio Fulci, so um, if I ever come across it, then yeah, I'll probably grab it. All right, so we've got a couple of releases there, same as the UK. We've got Paris When It Sizzles from 1964. We've got the Liam Neeson movie. I think, again, that was a Netflix movie originally, Black Light. we got Francis the Talking Mule. I think that's some sort of TV show because it's run from 51 to 56. Looks quite funny, actually. You know, something I've heard of, though. Um, 1971, Sacco and Vanzetti. Can't say I've heard of that. Okay, another streaming film. I think The Outfit. I'm not sure. So I think it's a bit like um, The Kingsman, but a bit more serious. Gangster movie, but I haven't seen it. So we got Mr. Jones from 2019. Um, Dinosaur World from 2020. Obsolete, the complete collection. Um, some anime. There's some sort of TV movie there, The Wedding Veil. Uh, some more anime, I think. King Otto, an American reject. Some sort of, I don't know, comedy drama based on these talent shows, I guess. Unbelievably, that's it in America. I'm usually talking or waffling on for about half hour with the American films, but that's all we got. Nothing to pique my interest at all. Eh? Nothing boutique. So that's a bit of a surprise, really, but maybe it's a calm before the storm. So we'll check out a few European countries now and we'll be done. Okay, again, then Germany are bringing out some stuff spread over the week. Uh, we got the original take in of Palin 123 there from, is it Pidax? Can't say I've heard of that company. And then on the 5th, a um, couple of releases we've already talked about. I Fall In Love there, the Blu-ray release. I know that's been out on 4K already. Um, we got something with Ethan Hawke there, Zeros and Ones. Um, then we got some films on our show, some anime, some animation. We've all got German titles, so I'm not sure how you say them. Then we got something that looks cool here from 1986, Galaxy, from Focus Media. Cool artwork on there. Sort of movie that would, um, you know, I'd be interested in watching, even though it would probably turn out to be rubbish. And they got some other sort of covers there by the looks as well, some media book releases that have been out before. Uh, yeah, I can't say I heard of that film, but it looks all right. Then we got this Scorpion King five movie box set. Um, I'm not sure how many of them The Rock is in. I'm maybe just the first one. But. Um, yeah, gosh, there are five movies there. But yeah, The Rock is only in the first one by the looks. Uh, you've got Ron Perlman there by the looks in one of them. It's been the only actor I can recognise from those posters, really. Oh, Billy Zane in there. So yeah, not something I'd be interested in, really. Even if um, 88 films done the Scorpion King collection, I'm still not sure I would buy it, to be honest. Okay, on the sixth, we got a range of stuff. The Painted Bird. Not sure what it is, but it's got a fresh rating sticker on it from Rotten Tomatoes. Um, just some other stuff I'm not sure about there. Something called Sacrifice. 
What is life worth? 2020, looks like Michael Keaton on the cover. Dracula dead and loving it from that pit axe again. Um, the Robert England version of Phantom of the Opera. I haven't seen that for a long time. It's pretty good though. American Riot. Uh, there's some Christopher Lee collection there with... Um, oh, what's her name? Uh, Eklund, is it, on the cover? Is that Britt Eklund? Is that who that is? Um, Hellgate from 1989. The Wedding Song, 2008. Then we got this um, movie Stay Out from 2020. And then we got this last release then on May the 8th to the stars by Hard Ways. So nothing too amazing, but just plenty of stuff to look through. But I don't think I'd be getting anything from there. In Italy then, the last stop on the journey this week, we've got a version of The Last Starfighter. I'm not sure um, what sort of releases we've had for this in the UK, but this is a special edition from Sinister from Sinister Films. Okay, so it's old school sci-fi movie from 1984. Pretty good if I remember rightly, but I haven't seen it. Uh, is it directed by Nick Castle or starring Nick Castle? Yeah, directed by Nick Castle, starring Lance Guest. All right, then, so that's about it. Um, nothing too major for me this week, so it's going to be a bit of a cheap one. But I guess the highlights would definitely be Smoking Aces and Turning Red. Okay, then, so happy hunting, happy shopping, and I'll catch you next week. Cheers.